And I know I've been gone for around three weeks now. I have a few excuses, but I don't think anyone cares. The camera broke, got it fixed, but we're back. And today I just wanna show you guys the best clothes that I got in those three weeks that I was gone. So I could show you guys all of this, but that would probably take like an hour. So we're just gonna show you guys some of the highlights, some of my favorite pieces. And with that, I wanna start with hands down my favorite one in this video. This is an autumn winter 2001, I think it's autumn winter. I could be wrong, but this is a 2001 Comme des Garcons split logo jacket. Now there are a ton of other tops with the split logo. I know there's a long sleeve, there's some other colorways of this, and a few other variations, but this is the one that I did get. And I actually just noticed that this goes for around $800, which is pretty insane. But I did intend to get this for the store, but I tried it on once I did get it. But after I tried it on, I kind of fell in love with it and I kind of want to keep it now. So this is how it fits on me. It fits me, I think, super well. This is a size medium, and I think that I couldn't have gotten a better fit with this, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this very structured. For an old jacket, this is actually in really good condition. Size medium, which I didn't expect to fit, so this is just the CDG split logo jacket. Blue screen print on the top and on the bottom, so. Yeah, it's just a work coat. I know you could technically just get a Carhartt jacket and get a similar look, but I went with this one. Next up, really quick, this is an undercover spring summer 2004 necklace. It's really just a cotton necklace with some plastic guitar picks on it, so just a little accessory I thought I'd throw in. So next up, I got an undercover t-shirt. Now this is from the Chaotic Discord. It's like one of their logos for it. It's a thunderbolt and crossbones. It's actually really hard to come across this exact colorway. It's super muted. Pretty much just a gray t-shirt with different hues of it. And I have had a couple of the other colorways in the past, but this one really stuck out to me. And with the way that it fit me, I wanted to keep it. It's a size three. Same with the one that I'm wearing, so I guess my true to size is a size three. Kind of in between a medium and a large. Really soft and lightweight. So that'll definitely be good in the summer. Next up, another coat that I actually got before this one. So this is a Wacko Maria Guilty Parties Paradise. Kind of like an M65 military looking overshirt shirt jacket whatever you really want to call it. And it just has this Guilty Parties Outrageous Ink script logo on the back. So overall, just a really nice kind of work inspired jacket, a little bit of a military take on it. Nice black button closure, which I really like the way that the buttons look. And it does fit me really well, but after getting this one, I just prefer the fit of this one. So I'm definitely gonna be letting this go, but I did wear this a few times before I did get this, so. So this was definitely one of my favorites, just a little bit long on me. So next up, probably the best pants that I got this month. These are the Comme des Garcons Autumn Winter 2005 Comme des Garcons Rolling Stones collection, so. These, I've never really seen anywhere. I've seen the other pairs. I know my friend Avery has one of them, and as soon as I found the black one, I definitely had to pick it up because I pretty much only wear black, as you guys can tell, and with all the clothes behind me, so. This was definitely, Definitely needed to buy this, not really. I believe these go for around anywhere six to eight hundred dollars, which is pretty insane. It's definitely one of their most sought after collections. These do fit me super well. They're kind of like a 30 in the way, so that's like my true to size, but they are a little bit short. There is some fabric on the inside, so if I want to get some length taken out, if I do decide to like keep them forever, I will definitely be doing that. But right now I'm just rocking them as they are. They do fit really well with my combat boots. They're a little bit wider, a little bit looser and baggier, so not sure if they'll be the best for this season, but definitely in the fall. It's kind of like a wool blend, so might get a little bit hot in these. Really quick, this is a Junior and Comme des Garcons belt. I got this in and noticed how long it was, and I guess that the intended way for this to be worn is to double wrap it. It's like a patent leather belt with these gun metal chains going throughout it. Super excessive, really unnecessary, really aggressive looking, but I thought I'd get it. I think it suits my style pretty well. I've worn it a few times, and it is a little bit uncomfortable to wear out and about because if you have to use a bathroom, it's kinda, kinda complicated to take it off. And this also does take forever to get through all your belt loops. But yeah, it's just pretty much a chain belt. Really crazy, really unnecessary as I said, but I thought I'd grab it. Next up, more Comme des Garcons. This is a pair of really crazy Comme des Garcons animal print, cheetah print, leopard print. I can't remember what the exact animal is, but I got these. It isn't a jean cut, but it's a bit more of a chino trouser, I would say, just based off of the fabric. Really starchy and crispy, which is actually my personal ideal fabric for pants, so no stretch, really nice structured fit on these, but they fit me super well in the waist and the legs, but they are a touch long, so 
If I want to keep them forever, I'll probably hem them, but for now I'm just rolling them up. Maybe roll them on the inside. Really, really loud pair of pants. I'm not really sure how I'd style these just yet, but if I'm ever daring enough, I'll definitely be wearing these. Next up, had to throw some number nine in there. This is a pair of number nine Ortega denim. I do have two of the t-shirts with this Ortega graphic on it, but just a pair of black skinny jeans, number nine. Like this woven embroidered graphic right here, as well as on the back pockets. Pain tag on the back, blood, crying, teared heart, whatever you want to call it. Leather patch on the back. Really skinny fit. They do fit me. They are a little bit short, so I do wear them with the boots, but they kind of make my legs look like twigs, so I'm not too sure how I feel about these yet. Cool pair of pants. A lot of people told me to get these actually like a few months ago, so finally got them. Last pair of pants. A pair, this is probably the oldest thing in this video. It's a pair of 1996 spring summer under the cover collection. This is from Undercover 1996, so this is a little bit older than I am. And this is pretty much a camo pant. It has like these little digi skulls going throughout it. It's a bit of a greenish brown in the skull with like a brown background. I don't really have any camo pants, so I thought I'd grab these because these are sick. They have the skulls all throughout them. A little bit edgy, but I thought I'd pick them up. They are a lot wider than my usual preference, but I thought the change would be nice. I'm not too sure how I would style these just yet because it's kind of hard to match with brown, but Really cool pair of pants. Definitely really hard to come across. Glad to have those. Okay, and the last thing is another favorite. So this is just like a favorite of my favorites, if that makes any sense. This is an undercover scab, spring summer 03, corduroy giz button up. So you have the giz print going all throughout the front. You have the black snap closure going throughout it. Skull and crossbones embroidered, giz print embroidered, and you actually have scorpions coming across embroidered on the back, which is really cool. So this is a size medium. Didn't really expect this to fit, but it actually does fit me pretty perfect, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. This is 100% staying with me. Watch me go back on my word, but this is really cool. It fits me super well. It's a little bit boxy. I think I actually do like the fit a lot. Goes really well over t-shirts. I could wear it with no t-shirt under, but I've just worn it with t-shirts in this kind of charcoal color, so I think they match up pretty well. I know, black and black. Really hard stuff to match. I have been eyeing this one for a really long time, so I'm super happy to finally have it. And yeah, those are all the pickups. At least, those are all my favorite pickups of the month of May. I know I was gone. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Back on the weekly uploads, so. But yeah, let me know what your favorite piece was in this video. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Walk up with my toolie, what they do? Meet me in the alley with the troops. I got red shooters, I got blue. Let that thing down and point at you.